Welcome to the futuristic realm of a television series that transported audiences to the 25th century, blending science fiction with adventure, Buck Rogers. Have you ever wondered about the hidden gems behind the scenes or the lesser known anecdotes that add a layer of fascination to this iconic show? Whether you first encountered Buck Rogers in the 25th century during its original run or stumbled upon it later, the series has left an indelible mark on many. Perhaps it was the captivating storyline or the pioneering special effects that drew you in. When was the first time you found yourself captivated by the interstellar escapades of Captain William Buck Rogers? As we delve into intriguing facts about the series, consider sharing your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Buck Rogers. Did a particular episode leave an enduring impression, or was it the characters that resonated with you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's explore the universe of Buck Rogers in the 25th century and unravel some captivating tidbits about this timeless classic. Buckle up for a journey through the cosmos, where the future meets nostalgia. What fascinating details lie behind the making of this iconic series? Find out as we uncover the curtain on the lesser-known aspects that make Buck Rogers in the 25th century a cherished piece of television history. What about you? What facts or anecdotes about this series pique your interest? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments section below. Your connection to Buck Rogers adds another layer to its enduring legacy. In the late 1970s, television audiences were transported to a futuristic realm with Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Originating as a reimagining of the classic comic strip character, the TV series followed the adventures of Buck Rogers, an astronaut who, after being frozen in space, awakens in a world vastly different from his own. The show seamlessly blended elements of science fiction with a dash of space opera, capturing the essence of the era's fascination with the future. Iconic characters like Colonel Wilma Deering and the wise-cracking robot Twiki added depth to the narrative, contributing to the series' enduring popularity. With its distinctive blend of action, humor, and a futuristic aesthetic, Buck Rogers in the 25th century left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent sci-fi productions and captivating audiences with its vision of tomorrow. The show's impact endures, a testament to its ability to captivate audiences across generations. The Earth Starfighter featured in the series was originally designed by Ralph McQuarrie for Battlestar Galactica's Colonial Viper. When Galactica opted for a different design, McQuarrie's creation found a new home in the world of Buck Rogers. This transition underscores the interconnectedness of sci-fi productions during that era. The reuse of designs showcases the collaborative and adaptable nature of creative work in bringing futuristic visions to life on screen. It highlights the behind-the-scenes intricacies that often go unnoticed but significantly contribute to the visual richness of the series. This cross-pollination of ideas among iconic sci-fi shows adds a layer of depth and shared history, enriching the experience for fans of both series. The Earth Starfighter's origins and McCory's conceptualization for another legendary spacecraft illuminate the dynamic evolution of design in science fiction television. One intriguing facet of this renowned series lies in the unexpected connection it shares with other realms of entertainment. For instance, a corridor set from the Draconian flagship served as an unexpected backdrop for a segment within the music video for Looks That Kill a song by the heavy metal band M.T. Cree. This crossover between the futuristic world of the show and the realm of music encapsulates the far-reaching impact and adaptability of the series' set designs, showcasing their versatility beyond the screen. This isn't the only instance of crossover during the series' production. Mel Blanc, known for his legendary voice acting, lent his voice to the cartoon parody Duck Dodgers and the return of the 24th century while working on this very show. His involvement in both projects echoes the interconnectedness of entertainment during that era and adds another layer of depth to the series' cultural significance. Moreover, a captivating tidbit about the casting process sheds light on the show's history. Glenna Larson initially eyed actor Kurt Russell for the lead role, but Russell, aspiring to shift his focus towards a burgeoning movie career after narrowly missing out on iconic roles like Han Solo in Star Wars, declined the opportunity. This behind-the-scenes insight into casting decisions unveils the dynamic interplay between actors and roles in the world of television and cinema during that time. 
These fascinating connections and casting decisions further accentuate the multifaceted nature of the series, showcasing its impact and reach across different spheres of entertainment, from music videos to cartoons, while also providing insights into the casting dynamics of the era. In addition to the clash between the 1979 TV series and Doctor Who, this unexpected rivalry was akin to a seismic shift in television dynamics. It wasn't merely a battle for viewership, but a clash of cultures, a transatlantic duel that reverberated through the schedules and screens of audiences on both sides. The impact of this showdown was akin to a tectonic plate movement in the television landscape. The maneuvering of time slots by Doctor Who in response to this rivalry showcased the intricate dance of networks vying for audience attention. ITV's historical influence on the BBC's lineup, a precedent set by shows like Man from Atlantis, hinted at a pattern of strategic programming maneuvers. This clash didn't merely alter the schedules, it marked a turning point in the way networks approached their programming strategies. It forced a reevaluation of the viewers' preferences and shaped the destiny of these iconic shows, leaving an indelible mark on television history. The fallout from this clash wasn't just about ratings, it reflected the intricate web of interests, influences, and strategies within the television industry. This clash of giants left a lasting imprint, illustrating the complex interplay between transatlantic television offerings. In the end, this rivalry brought about an evolution in the television landscape, a transformation that rippled through the schedules and programming decisions of networks for years to come, marking a pivotal moment in TV history. The 1979 series quickly gathered an intensely devoted fanbase. Gil Gerard, playing the lead, became a magnet for adoration, especially from teenage girls. Studio incidents included attempts to sneak onto the grounds just to catch a glimpse. Aaron Gray, who portrayed Colonel Wilma Deering, encountered similar incidents, with fans trying to enter bearing gifts. Even Felix Silla, part of the cast, had fans attempting to infiltrate the filming location just to catch sight of him. These fervent admirers tried various ways to get close, from offering money to sneaking into the studio, illustrating the series' impact on its audience. As we draw this journey through the cosmic realms of Buck Rogers in the 25th century to a close, take a moment. Reflect on the echoes of futuristic wonders that graced the screens, the pulse-pounding adventures that whisked us away to uncharted galaxies. Perhaps it was the striking vision of a world yet to come or the charismatic allure of characters that etched their mark in our memories. What moments sparked a fire within you? Was it the breathtaking spacecraft, the innovative gadgets, or the invigorating thrill of exploring the unknown? Maybe it was the enigmatic charm of Captain William Buck Rogers or the steadfast resolve of his companions that resonated with your spirit. We all carry a piece of this timeless series within us, a beacon of imagination that continues to inspire. Share your tales, your cherished memories, the snippets that forever linger in the corridors of your mind. Let's weave together a tapestry of experiences, a celebration of how this series touched each of us uniquely. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic odyssey. Your presence, your reflections, add depth to the cosmic saga we hold dear. Until our paths cross again in the vast expanse of stories and dreams, keep the spirit of Buck Rogers alive within you. Gratefully yours.